Africa is the second largest continent in the world, and it holds a plethora of remarkable discoveries, many of which could change how we understand the world. From one of the world's most well-known fossil skulls to the mysterious fossil of a child, here are 20 things scientists discovered in Africa that shocked the world. Number 20. The Fossil with an Identity Crisis Back in 1934, a paleontologist named Robert Broom discovered what is now known as the most famous fossil in the world. It took more than 70 years before Broom and his colleagues found the remarkable skull at the Sterkfontein Caves near Johannesburg, South Africa. Enter Mrs. Plez, a fossil that would challenge our understanding of our distant ancestors and the origin of our species. Mrs. Pless is an important fossil because it provides valuable insight into our evolutionary history. It's estimated to be around 2.3 to 2.8 million years old, making it one of the most well-known and significant Australopithecus africanus specimens ever found. Mrs. Plez took center stage as evidence of Africa's vital role in human evolution. Researchers studied this fossil to unravel the mystery of human origin, but recent studies show that one of the most crucial pieces of information we know, or we thought we knew about Mrs. Plez, was wrong. Recent research suggests that perhaps Mrs. Plez has been Mr. Plez all along. Experts questioned the original assumption and highlighted prominent ridges on the skull's snout, pointing to a male lineage. However, other experts are still firm in their beliefs about the skull's gender. It seems that this debate will continue. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Mysterious 28 billion year old spheres. Deep within the mines of South Africa lies a fascinating enigma that has intrigued researchers for years. I'm talking about these intriguing spheres that were discovered there. And let me tell you, they're causing quite a buzz in the field of archaeology. Michael Kremel, an explorer, dedicated his life to unraveling the secrets of these mysterious spheres. Kremel claimed that the spheres are around 2.8 billion years old, and they're among the toughest ancient spheres discovered in the world. The thing is, scientists don't have all the answers. Some experts claim these spheres were formed naturally through a process called concretion. Basically, Concretion is a fancy word for masses of hardened mineral matter. But here's where it gets interesting. These spheres have an almost perfect shape, with grooves that look like they were meticulously carved by hand. It got some experts scratching their heads, wondering if these spheres were handmade by an ancient population we're yet to discover. Number 18. 500-Year-Old Pre-Colonial Medicine In 2020, a hiker stumbled upon a mind-boggling discovery. When Roger Smith explored the rugged landscape of South Africa, he didn't expect to discover a mysterious horn tucked away in a rock shelter. Inside the horn is a 500-year-old secret. After being examined by experts, the horn turned out to be a pre-colonial medicine storage made by people who lived in Southern Africa. The horn is the earliest known evidence of people combining various ingredients to create medicinal remedies in the region. While the exact age of the herbal contents remains unknown to us, Carbon dating estimates the use of the horn between 1461 and 1630 AD, making it the oldest medicine container discovered in southern Africa to date. The horn's craftsmanship and the delicate wrapping material indicate that it held immense value and likely served as a cherished possession during those times. It's unknown how exactly the horn medicine ended up inside the cave, and who knows, there might be more to this story than a simple medical discovery. Number 17. The Lost Island of Lemuria Many believe that in the Indian Ocean lies a mythical continent known as Lemuria. It's a place where ancient humans with forearms and massive bodies known as Lemurians once thrived alongside lemurs. Sounds crazy, right? Well, believe it or not, back in the 1800s, a few scientists armed with scant evidence proposed the existence of this extraordinary land. While their theories were initially dismissed by modern science, a surprising turn of events occurred in 2013. Geologists stumbled upon evidence that hinted at the presence of a lost continent exactly where Lemuria was believed to have existed. Of course, conspiracy theorists went crazy. The idea of Lemuria gained traction when Philip Letley Sclater, a lawyer and zoologist, noticed an abundance of lemur species in Madagascar compared to Africa and India. Sclater speculated that a landmass, which he called Lemuria, once connected these regions allowing lemurs to migrate. 
He even went as far as claiming that Lemuria is the cradle of humanity. Despite the eventual discrediting of those theories, recent geological discoveries have unveiled the existence of a lost continent in the Indian Ocean. Geologists found fragments of ancient granite along a shelf stretching south of India toward Mauritius. The presence of zircon on the island, dating back billions of years, indicated the existence of a much older landmass that sank beneath the ocean's surface. Some say that this ancient landmass is the lost continent of Lemuria, while some believe that Lemuria is still nothing but a myth. Number 16. 14-Foot Giant Squid Look at this behemoth of a sea creature discovered on a South African beach in 2020. Beachgoers at Britannia Bay in South Africa were shocked upon the sight of a dying squid on the shore. But it's not just any other squid. The incredible sight was captured on camera by local resident Richard Davies, showcasing the creature's immense size, which measured an impressive 14 feet in length. Davies, in a valiant attempt to save the squid, discovered that its weight was an astounding 440 to 660 pounds, rendering it impossible to return to the water. This extraordinary encounter marked one of the few recorded sightings of this elusive cephalopod, as live sightings in its natural habitat had only occurred as recently as 2004. Experts estimated that this car-sized squid had not yet reached adulthood. Can you imagine how much bigger this squid would have been had it reached its maturity? Marine biologists from the Aziko Museums retrieved the giant squid for further examination. It now takes place among 19 other giant squids, preserved in large stainless steel tanks filled with 70% ethanol. These magnificent creatures reside at varying depths, typically between 985 and 3,280 feet deep in oceans worldwide, except for polar regions. Fascinatingly, the largest squid ever discovered in South Africa washed ashore in 1992, measuring an astounding 30 feet. So, calamari? Anyone? All right, I'm kidding. Number 15. The African Megabat If you're scared of bats, I suggest you sit this one out. Prepare to be amazed by this creature, also dubbed one of the ugliest animals on Earth. Quite a mean title, if you ask me. But hey, that's what the consensus says. Meet the hammer-headed bat, the largest bat species found in Africa. Despite its predatory appearance, this impressive creature actually sustains itself solely on a diet of fruit. Roaming the night skies throughout equatorial Africa, the Hypsignathus monstrosus, commonly known as the hammer-headed bat, commands attention with its monstrous wingspan and boisterous cries. While its intimidating figure may raise concerns, these bats pose no threat to us or other animals. However, their appearance can be pretty disturbing. Female hammer-headed bats share a resemblance to other bat species, but it's the males that stand out with their oversized lips and snouts, earning them the title of one of the world's ugliest creatures. However, their unique appearance does not indicate any aggressive tendencies, as they're exclusively fruit lovers, feasting on wild fruits native to Western and Central Africa. Now, I don't know about you, but I find these bats pretty adorable. Number 14. Medieval Cathedral Complex Centuries ago, the Kingdom of Makuria proudly stood as a formidable Christian stronghold in Africa, although not much was left behind by this kingdom. However, a team of Polish archaeologists recently stumbled upon the grandest cathedral of the ancient kingdom. In the deserted town of Old Dongola, nestled along the banks of the Nile, the archaeologists embarked on an extraordinary journey unearthing the remnants of what appeared to be an expansive medieval cathedral. This remarkable find is believed to be the largest church ever uncovered in the region, a testament to the kingdom's grandeur. As archaeologists delved deeper into their explorations, they encountered a breathtaking sight, a series of wall paintings adorning the cathedral's apse walls. These captivating murals, thought to date back to the 10th or early 11th century, depicted towering figures that bore a striking resemblance to the apostles, it was as if these larger-than-life portraits had once gazed upon the worshippers from a height of 10 feet, leaving an indelible mark on the walls of history. But the surprises didn't end there. Amid the labyrinth of ruins, the archaeologists stumbled upon the remnants of a magnificent tomb, likely the final resting place of a revered archbishop. This goes to show that there are still more to learn about the many walks of life that lived on the continent of Africa. Number 13. 3.7 million-year-old footprint left behind by unknown ancestor. 
New research might change how we interpreted a discovery in 1976. Back in 1976, a significant discovery was made by paleontologists who stumbled upon two sets of footprints dating back an astonishing 3.7 million years. At first glance, one set appeared to represent the oldest evidence of early humans walking upright, while the other was believed to belong to a bear. However, recent findings have led scientists to reconsider their initial assumptions. It turns out that the second set of footprints might also belong to humans, potentially indicating the existence of an unknown human ancestor. This intriguing revelation suggests that not one, but two bipedal humans coexisted during that period, challenging the previous notion that only one species of human, Australopithecus afarensis, inhabited ancient Africa from 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago. An iconic representative of Australopithecus afarensis is Lucy, the well-known skeleton. If early humans indeed left behind the second set of footprints discovered in Africa, it might change our current assumptions about the evolution of mankind. Number 12. 800-Year-Old Drawings In 2019, scientists discovered something unexpected while exploring the Vredfort Crater located in South Africa. This crater is known as the largest confirmed impact crater on our planet. With a diameter of 55 miles, 2 billion years ago, a massive asteroid crashed on our planet, leaving behind a monstrous crater measuring 190 miles wide. However, as years passed by and the surrounding land was eroded, the crater reduced to what it is today. Aside from its value to geologists and astronomers, archaeologists and historians turned their attention to this crater after discovering carvings. The patterns depict several animals, including a hippo, a horse, and a rhino taking us back 8,000 years ago when the land was filled with such creatures. Initially, researchers were puzzled as to why the carvings were drawn in the crater. However, recent studies suggest the carvings were patiently created by people thousands of years ago to implore the gods or the skies for rain. This astonishing revelation challenges our understanding of ancient civilization and the relationship with celestial events. The Vredfort Crater now holds even greater significance as a site where early humans sought divine intervention for their survival. It serves as a timeless testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors, reminding us of the profound connection between humanity and the cosmos throughout history. Number 11. People in South Africa enjoyed snails tens of thousands of years ago. It turns out humans may have enjoyed snails on their menu much earlier than previously believed. Recent findings from a South African cave have provided the earliest evidence of humans feasting on snails. By analyzing fragments of broken shells found in Border Cave, researchers discovered signs that shells had been heated, suggesting that ancient humans had been roasting and consuming snails far longer than previously thought. Border Cave, situated on a cliff 2,000 feet above sea level, has provided invaluable insights into ancient human lifestyles. Previous excavations at the cave revealed evidence of early humans consuming marine mollusks, such as mussels and limpets, dating as far back as 164,000 years ago. The cave has also yielded evidence of humans cooking plant stems, enjoying various fruits, and hunting large and small animals. While earlier studies indicate snail consumption around 49,000 years ago in Africa and 36,000 years ago in Europe, this new discovery suggests that humans might have started savoring these mollusks between 70,000 and 170,000 years ago. Until now, it was assumed that humans began regularly including land snails and other small game in their diets only towards the end of the last ice age. However, this newfound evidence challenges those assumptions, indicating that our ancestors recognized the nutritional value of land snails much earlier. In modern times, humans still enjoy eating snails, but it's more of an acquired taste than a staple on the menu. Number 10. Churches Carved from Stone In the charming town of Lalabella, Ethiopia, lies the astonishing underground churches that have stood the test of time for over 800 years. Carved entirely from a single stone, these remarkable structures showcase the ingenuity and craftsmanship of people from centuries ago. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978, Lalabella is not only a place of historical significance, but also holds great religious importance as a significant center of Ethiopian Christianity. Believed to have been constructed during the reign of Emperor King Lalabella between 1181 and 1221 AD, these ancient churches attract numerous tourists, 
and serve as a vital source of revenue and employment for the town. According to local legends, the king, with the help of angels, undertook the monumental task of excavating these churches, drawing inspiration from the architectural marvels he had witnessed in Jerusalem. What makes these 800-year-old churches genuinely astonishing is the fact that they were meticulously carved out of a single massive rock, skillfully shaped to form intricate details like doors, windows, columns, floors, and ceremonial passages. Some even feature openings leading to hermit caves and catacombs. The complexity of the stone-carved structures perpetuates the belief that divine intervention was indeed part of its construction, but many believe that people from hundreds of years ago persevered in building these structures by faith alone. Number 9. One of the world's oldest beds Have you ever wondered when humans started using beds? Well, the answer might lie in a discovery deep within a cave in South Africa. Deep inside a cave in South Africa, researchers stumbled upon something pretty unique that takes us way back in time. About 200,000 years ago, our ancestors chose to stay in this cave and made themselves a cozy little bed. Yeah, you heard that right. They used grass to create a comfy spot to rest, and not just any grass, but camphor, an effective insect repellent. This fascinating find has led scientists to conclude that early humans ingeniously created prehistoric bedding by utilizing this clean surface made of plant material and ash. Remarkably, this layer of grass bedding, discovered in the same rock layer as teeth dating back 200,000 years, stands as the oldest documented evidence of humans using beds. How cool is that? Number 8. 65,000-Year-Old Swiss Army Knife Between 60,000 and 65,000 years ago, humans in southern Africa possessed a special connection that defied distance. Through the examination of their tool-making techniques, researchers uncovered a shared knowledge and communication system that stretched across vast regions of the continent. Back then, ancient tribes were separated by great distances, yet they were bound by a collaborative culture. They crafted a unique tool that archaeologists now call the Stone Age Swiss Army Knife. This innovative tool, born during the renowned Howison's Port cultural period between approximately 65,800 and 59,500 years ago, played a pivotal role in shaping human history. It was a time when early modern humans embarked on significant migrations from Africa to Eurasia. This revelation sheds light on the interconnectedness of these ancient communities and offers a glimpse into the remarkable network of communication they forged. By sharing knowledge and skills, they overcame geographical boundaries, paving the way for the mass migrations that would shape the evolution of humanity. Number 7. The Most Inhospitable Place on Earth Now let's tone down the seriousness and let's take a look at one of the craziest places on Earth. The Danakil Depression in Ethiopia is arguably one of the most bizarre places on Earth. This magical place boasts a collection of bizarre geological features that rival even the most extraordinary natural phenomena on Earth. In this scorching, arid expanse, technicolor pools of mind-boggling hues stretch as far as the eye can see. Picture a fiery hot version of Tuscany's hot springs, with aquamarine and chartreuse waters bordered by hardened rims resembling yellowed popcorn. Dalal, located in the Afar region of northern Ethiopia, is home to these surreal springs. It's a place where the average temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and scorching summer highs reach a whopping 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only is it the hottest inhabited spot on the planet, but it also boasts one of the lowest points on Earth, sinking more than 410 feet below sea level. Within the expansive 4,000-square-mile Danakil Depression, you'll encounter a plethora of extraordinary natural wonders, from sprawling salt flats to deep lakes and restless volcanoes. The springs owe their striking colors to volcanic activity, which heats the water and brings minerals like sulfur, salt, and copper to the surface. As a result, these otherworldly shades of blue, green, and yellow dance into existence. However, don't be fooled by their allure. These springs are filled with sulfuric acid. Even dipping a pinky toe in could melt skin as quickly as a flame melts wax. Surprisingly, the extreme conditions have fostered the presence of extremophiles, microbes adapted to survive in harsh environments. In fact, Scientists study the Danakil Depression to gain insights into the potential existence of life in similarly intense conditions, such as on Mars. If you're intrigued, I have good news for you, because you're free to take a stroll around this place. 
you just have to be extra cautious, or else you might end up getting hurt. Number 6. The Ghost Population of Africa In 2020, archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery at the Shumlaka Archaeological Site in western central Africa. The remains of four children buried thousands of years ago yielded remarkably intact DNA samples, offering a unique window into the historical diversity of the region. Strangely, DNA analysis revealed that these children had ancestry distinct from that of most present-day Bantu speakers, who form a significant portion of Africa's population. Instead, their genetic makeup closely resembled hunter-gatherer groups known as pygmies, such as the Baka and Aka communities. Moreover, a rare genetic marker in one sample indicated a solid regional connection. This groundbreaking discovery has not only expanded our understanding of the diverse groups that once inhabited the region, but also unveiled the existence of a ghost population previously unknown to scientists. By comparing the children's DNA with samples from ancient and contemporary Africans, researchers developed a compelling new model of migration and evolution. This model suggests that the origins of Central African hunter-gatherers date back much farther than previously believed, reaching as far back as 200,000 to 250,000 years ago. These findings challenge conventional notions, offering insight into ghost populations and pushing back the origins of Central African hunter-gatherers by thousands of years. Now this leads us to wonder just how many ghost populations are left undiscovered in Africa? How many more people were left forgotten? And what piece of the puzzle would they complete in the mystery of mankind's evolution across Africa? Number 5. Senegambian Stone Circles The stone circles of Senegambia is known for being the most extensive collection of megalithic complexes ever recorded. With a staggering total of 1,053 stone circles and 28,931 monoliths, these structures are scattered across the countries of Senegal and Gambia in West Africa. The impressive craftsmanship displayed in these stone circles suggests a high level of stoneworking expertise among the ancient builders. Notably, 93 of these stone circles have been recognized by UNESCO and are on the World Heritage List. Archaeological excavations have uncovered various artifacts and human burials, ranging from pottery to iron tools and ornaments, dating back to the first and second millennia in this site and many believe this place holds more secrets vital to unlocking the truth behind human evolution. Number 4. Mysterious Stone Circle Umsura Stone Circle is an ancient marvel nestled in the enchanting lands of Morocco. This remarkable megalithic site, located in the picturesque region of Asora, takes us on a journey back in time to the Neolithic period, around 5,000 years ago. Imagine standing among a circle of majestic stones, each with a story to tell. The Amsora Stone Circle boasts a collection of 167 towering monoliths. These ancient structures, characterized by two or more upright stones supporting a massive horizontal stone, offer a glimpse into the customs and rituals of the past. It's believed that these dolmens may have served as sacred burial chambers or ceremonial spaces for the ancient inhabitants of the land. The mystery surrounding the Amsora Stone Circle continues to captivate the minds of archaeologists and historians. Although, speculations abound about its purpose and significance. Some theories suggest that it held astronomical or ritualistic importance, while others propose it marked trade routes or territorial boundaries. Whatever its true purpose, this architectural wonder invites us to delve into the rich history and cultural heritage of Africa. Number 3. Otters the Size of Modern-Day Lions In a groundbreaking discovery in 2022, Researchers have unearthed the fossilized remains of a colossal otter species in Ethiopia, shedding new light on the fascinating coexistence of early humans and unique creatures of the past. This newly identified species, named Enhydriodon omoensis, thrived approximately 3.5 to 2.5 million years ago, sharing its habitat with a group of extinct human relatives known as Australopithecines. Unlike its modern adorable counterparts, E. omoensis was a giant, weighing over 440 pounds. While it likely fed on land and aquatic prey, scientists believe it primarily dwelled on land, contrary to previous assumptions about its semi-aquatic nature. Now imagine seeing these creatures today. Wouldn't that be something? Number 2. The Dead Marsh Deep within Namib Nakluft National Park, nestled amidst the towering red dunes of the central Namib Desert, lies a surreal and otherworldly landscape known as Sosasvlai. 
Over thousands of years, the sand in this area has transformed into a rich red hue, giving the dunes their distinct color. Salsa's fly is a vast expanse covered in salt and characterized by a compact layer of clay beneath its surface. This place is often associated with death, and for good reason. Near Salsa's fly lies another place with an even more ancient history, known as Dead Vly or Dead Marsh in Afrikaans. It rests on some of the tallest dunes on Earth, reaching heights of up to 1,312 feet, rivaling the Empire State Building. Once a vibrant location nourished by the river and adorned with trees, Dead Vly's fate took a drastic turn around 900 years ago, when the climate dried up and the dunes cut off its connection to the river. As a result, the area became too dry for the trees to decompose, leaving them to stand as charred remnants of their former selves. These thousand-year-old trees now form a haunting forest within Deadfly's barren landscape. I don't know about you, but this place looks like something straight out of a fantasy book to me. Seems pretty intriguing, but I wouldn't dare visit this desolate place. And now it's time for today's topic. Scientists' terrifying new discovery in Africa that changes everything. For so long, Africa was believed to be the cradle of humankind. Experts have long assumed and theorized that the first ancestors of the human race came from this continent. However, other theorists are proposing that the continent is also one of the first few that was visited by extraterrestrial creatures. Just like human fossils, many theorize that several strange fossils and preserved bodies have been discovered across the continent. But many of them were given little to no attention, almost as if they were trying to be concealed. Do you believe there's a chance that aliens have visited us as far back as hundreds of thousands of years ago? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. The Tong Child The Tong Child, also known as Australopithecus africanus, was unearthed in 1924 by the pioneering Australian anatomist Raymond Dart. At first glance, this fossilized skull appeared to be nothing short of extraordinary. It belonged to a young hominin, estimated to be around three years old at the time of its death, and exhibited a mesmerizing blend of both human and ape-like features. Dart's groundbreaking conclusion challenged the prevailing beliefs of his time. He proposed that the Tong child represented an early human ancestor who walked upright, defying the notion that human evolution occurred solely in Europe. This theory sparked intense debate and controversies within the scientific community, forever reshaping our understanding of mankind's evolutionary lineage. The significance of the Tong child cannot be overstated. This extraordinary fossil provided compelling evidence for the theory of human evolution and shattered long-held misconceptions. By exhibiting a mix of characteristics that bridged the gap between our primate ancestors and early humans, the Tong child became a pivotal piece in the puzzle of our evolutionary story. Which of these intriguing discoveries captured your imagination the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.